Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 84 of Modern Skyblock 3. Last episode, we set up an MFE from Tech Reborn. Woot! Uh, we also got an extractor compressor, a couple Tech Reborn machines. Uh, and today, I'd like to look at turning our generator uh, into uh, uh, the, the one that can be used thermal generator, this guy. Uh, apparently you get lots and lots of EU from liquid ethylene from mechanism. And we're already producing a copious amount of gaseous ethylene and converting ethylene into ethylene, I can't imagine being a hard thing. Liquid ethylene, we get a condensating. Um, ethylene turns into liquid ethylene. So like one block from mechanism equals ethylene. Um, so that would be cool, right? So I think what we're gonna do um, is move this torch to here, uh, and then we're going to set up some kind of thing to make that happen. Um, so I'm, I'm, step one for me is gonna be to check out what's involved in making this thermal from Tech Reborn, thermal generator dude, right? Um, Thermal generator from Tech Reborn, right? So we're gonna need invar plates, and we're gonna need reinforced glass, and we're gonna need a generator. So like, we're, we're halfway there. Do you know how to make more invar plates? No. Do you know how to make more invar? Yes. Good. Good job, Direwolf's auto crafting. So I'm thinking we can get a compactor over here. One of these is a compactor. Yeah, it is. Nice. And while we're at it, wow. So I went away for like 10 or 15 minutes and came back to my computer and yeah, yeah, we're doing pretty good with rubber. Yeah, <laughs> nice. I'll kind of leave that there for now, um, but we'll see what's involved. And then the other big thing we're gonna need is that hardened glass. So to get that geothermal or, uh, generator from Reborn, it's been eight seconds and I've already forgotten the name of the thermal generator. Uh, we need reinforced glass, which is just regular glass with advanced alloy plates. Uh, so we're gonna need advanced alloys, uh, which can be made with mixed metal ingots. Um, so let's make like a hundred-ish of you. I can catch them. And is it literally just a matter of smelting these bad boys? Cause that's super cool. Nice, advanced alloy ingots. Okay, cool. Uh, and then you get what, compacted into advanced alloy plates? So we can either use the compressor that we just made um, or or the, so there's the Tech Reborn compressor, but since we're over here, there's no reason to like go back over there, right? So you might as well just this. Hooray, quest updated, advanced frames, neat. So that was a quest apparently, that was this guy. I'm guessing um, that you want me to now make an advanced machine frame just for the sake of completing that quest. frame from Reborn. So an advanced machine frame uh, just needs carbon plates, which is compressor carbon mesh. Okay. How many of these can we get? Two. Well, that's not terrible. And then I'm guessing you can compactor you. Uh, no, you have to be the compressor. All right. So the other way you can get carbon plate is compactor carbon ingots from extra planets, which we might have some left. That's cool. And you're gonna have to be made in this thing. Which isn't the end of the world. So either way, I like that Tech Reborn has a lot of ore dictionary things, because a lot of this stuff I've already automated or made, and it makes making new things a little bit cooler and easier, right? All right, um, frame from Reborn. This is used for obviously many different things, just like IC2. Um, as we mentioned in previous episode, uh, IC2 is definitely um, the inspiration for this mod, clearly, because you have like energy crystals and that kind of stuff. This is just like the original IC2 energy crystal recipe before it was like that complicated way of making energy crystals, right? Um, so quest updated, yay. Um, so now we want the thermal generator. So you need a regular generator and you need this. So where did my generator go? You're not stuck in here, are you? Oh yeah, you are, okay. So I can do that, 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 and cool. All right, so now you should be able to take liquid ethylene, 
Are you going to connect? You do connect. Look at you. Okay, fancy. Uh, let's put a torch here. Yeah, that works. Perfect. And then thermal generator can chill here. All right, so you are good. So now we're going to want a condensen... Rotary condensentrator. Yeah, that looks right. Uh, so I need a basic gas tank and an energy tablet. Condensentrator. Okay. Now, wouldn't it be cool if you could output like directly to here? Toggle operation, upgrades, sweet. So I don't know like which side. You seem to accept power from any side. So one of these two, um, maybe you'll want to be there so that I can run. So mechanism, we're going to want more of these probably. Steel, please. That shouldn't be too bad to make. Should be pretty quick. Because we've got steel production pretty well automated at this point. Cool. Uh, and then where's the gas pipe? Mechanisms. Gas piping. Uh, basic pressurized tube is also going to need steel, obviously. So that's for the gas. So do you connect on this side? You do. And do you connect on this side? You totally do. All right, cool. So if I could run this like so. Not the uh, fanciest in the world to be sure, but it gets the job done. Hashtag dire wire. Uh, side config eject down. Sweet. And look, we hear a machine running, so that's always a good sign. So, did I teach you how to auto craft muffler upgrades? So, we want steel dust and those red things. Cool. And then, was it four that we want? Tell me you accept upgrades. You do accept upgrades. Yay. Sweet. And that's muffling. Nice. So much better. Uh, so you're producing ethylene. Are you piping the ethylene in here? Not yet. But what we could do is get speed upgrades. Do we teach you speed upgrades? Also not yet, but we could probably make them uh, easily enough. Six sounds like enough to me, right? And that should speed up the production of liquid ethylene. Right? So speed upgrades are at four out of eight. Liquid ethylene is cooking, cooking, cooking. And then hopefully we should be able to just do that. And now you're producing power at a rate of, I don't know. You're clearly producing power. You have a 1 million EU internal buffer, so that's cool. Max rate is 128 EU per tick. But I mean, that's like nice and just, that's just there, right? Passive power gen working great. So that shouldn't be a problem. Um, and then if we ever need a boost, we can just do this. Woot, and then charge it back up in our inventory and woot. So that's cool, right? So that's passive, it'll just run. I could always make another thermal generator or two if we needed to, um, just to augment the MFE's power production stuff. But that's like a good passive, we already had that power gen going thing, right? So with that taken care of, right, uh, let's look at putting away some things, right? Do, 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 do. And let's look at what's next for us. Uh, so the next step in the quest book is probably chemical reactions, right? So we're gonna want a chemical reactor. So chemical reactor, that's bioreactor. This is chemical reactor. Aha, so you're gonna need advanced control circuits and you're gonna need a compressor, a compressor, and an extractor, and an in-bar plate. So we're like halfway there. 
So we're going to want one of you. A couple extractors. And then you also need advanced control circuits, which we can get plenty of courtesy of the S, right? And then since you're going to be using some of the green ones, which we obviously want a bunch of, uh, let's hit Let's hit that button as well. 20 more of them should be easy enough to make. Cool. So I can do that. And that just saves me like the, the annoyance of making what we need to make. So yay, quest complete, chemical reactions. And just to validate um, the, the, that this is true, what I wanna do is see, does that mean that I can now go into the chickens chapter? And yes, we've unlocked basic chickens. With a chemical reactor, you're able to make the most basic resource chickens. Aha! So we can get these basic resource chickens, which are usually found in world generation, right? Usually these are found in world gen. You get them from the chemical reactor in Reborn Tech. Aha! So that's cool. All right, today we learned that's, that's specific to this pack. Now, if we want to progress to the end of the chapter, right? There's obviously lots of other machines and stuff, right? Nuclear fusion zones, kind of cool, right? Implosion compression, industrial centrifuge, industrial blast furnace. I might want to check into some of these only because I know that I'm going to want um, to do UU matter. And I suspect that's another one of these like huge amounts of power equal to UU matter, just like previous IC2 versions, right? And this is the item version of UU matter. So it's it's like the old IC2 where you could use UU matter to make resources and all those UU matter things are there. So that's kind of cool. And we might want to actually do that because there might be a few resources that would be easier to get through UU matter than otherwise. Like, I don't think I'd be using UU matter to make stone or wood, but I might be using UU matter to make, I don't know, uh, titanium dust? Beats me. I don't know. Fluid replicator, huh? That's kind of cool. You can make compressed air. You can make carbon, carbon fiber. You can make liquid mercury and methane and liquefacted coal. Interesting. Good to know. Um, so may want to use UU matter, but uh, we're going to totally, you know, do this. So to make UU matter, which is the quest that we want to do to complete this chapter and power from plasma. So first, let's go UU matters path. So we need a cleaner inventory and implosion compression. So a cleaner inventory has a recycler and scrap. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Uh, we should be able to set that up. So what we'll do is make a recycler, which should be easy enough, pretty easy. We need a compressor uh, and we need some more glowstone. So let's make like 10 of that and recycler should be cool. Glowstone, 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 glowstone should be in progress. Yay, recycler. Right. Uh, we're going to totally want... Oh, not that. Right. You... I don't think I need extractors to be super fast, or compressors for that matter. But it's good to know that you can right-click these into inventories. That's nifty. Woot. But the recycler we might want to be fast, right? So is that... That's pretty good. All right, so recycler check, right? And then implosion compression to turn certain gem dusts into gems and iridium alloy and get into plates, you're going to need an implosion compressor. All right, so that sounds cool. So implosion compressor um, is going to be required here. So you need what? Some more advanced alloy ingots and some of this stuff, right? So we'll need um, another advanced one of these dudes and we'll need a compressor and we'll need some advanced alloy ingots, which can be smelted courtesy of you. So that should be cool. So I'm gonna go drop you into this dude for now. And if I feel like we're gonna be doing a lot of reborn tech, I'll teach more of these recipes to our applied energistic system just to like automate stuff. But I don't know that we're gonna necessarily do this beyond this chapter. Um, some machines and mods I'm using a lot of in this pack and some not as much. So this might be into the not as much category, right? And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Just that's the way it is. So implosion compressor should be good, right? So boom, 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 boom. Incomplete multi-block. Oh, you have a multi-block hologram. Well, would you look at that? Okay, cool. Toggle multi-block hologram. Explain, explain multi-block hologram. I'm not seeing a multi-block hologram. Is it like, oh, it's underneath. Oh, hello. So you need, okay. So you would appear then. If 
I put you here and toggle the multi-block, I'm going to say you're one block space off the ground. Yes. So if I want you... Let's put you... Like here. Oh, good. I was worried for a second it might leave a phantom hologram behind, and that would probably be bad. Right? So those are what? Are those advanced? Does the book have anything to say about this? No, it doesn't. It's just like, hey, make this block. I'm not going to, like, hint at the fact it's a multi-block. I'm just going to say, make the thing. and Figure it out for yourself, direwolf. To be fair, that's not a horrible thing to ask for, but figure it out yourself. Um, so you might be frames of some sort. You don't look like advanced machine frames, but you could be highly advanced. No, that doesn't look right either. What? I don't think you're charge mats though it kind of looks like that texture, but there's no way it's a charge mat Definitely not a plasma generator. Implosion compressor, huh? Yeah. Unless that's what, like, advanced machine frames from Reborn look like in the world. Is it? No, definitely not. I don't think so. Oh, I think I found it. Advanced machine casings. That's what we're looking for from Tech Reborn. That, that looks right, right? Yeah, that totally looks like it. That's 100% it. Um, so we can get four of them from a highly advanced machine frame or from a reinforced machine casing, we can get one. So highly advanced machine frames need titanium and chrome. Uh, and chrome, do we have chrome yet? We have a single chrome dust. So you come from what? Chrome ingots, not helping, not helping. Not helping. I remember having to, oh yeah, I remember this. We did this in Age of Engineering, didn't we? And it was a pain. Uh, chrome, 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 chrome. Where for art thou chrome gonna come from in a better way, shape, or form? Chrome, chrome, cauldron cleansing, crushed stone makes chrome dust. Really? Interesting. Though there are chrome chickens. You breed tin and titanium together, huh? And we're gonna need titanium too, aren't we? Um, just checking to see if there's like another nifty way to get that chrome chicken. Chrome, 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 chrome. So we could do that. Oh, hey, wait, hold on. Chrome alchemical ore dust makes chrome ingots. Well, there's a thing. Two lapis and a sugar. So that's a route. That'll do. Uh, two lapis and a sugar. Never mind chickens. We got two lapis and a sugar cooking over here for chrome. Do, 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 do. I'll take it. I don't know how much we're going to need. I remember that being like a huge pain in the patoot in the past. So I'll take an easier approach. You're a little slow to produce the chrome, but you do come through in the end. And you're making chrome for me? Yeah, you are. Nice. All right, I'll take it. So with that said, how about titanium, right? Because advanced machine casing, which is what we need a lot of. Uh, we need chrome plates, we need elite control circuits, and we need highly, so we need titanium plates and advanced machine frames. Okay, not the end of the world. Titanium, uh, is there, yeah, there is a titanium alchemical ore dust. So I think we have some titanium, right? We have a bit um, of titanium stuff. Uh, we did that a little bit, remember? Um, but you can specifically come from that with titanium alchemical ore dust. So, is it me or is that chrome really not make a lot of chrome? Which is fine. I mean, it's not a big deal. But I should get some kind of hopper mechanism going here. Just so I can... So 
So we'll get a little bit more titanium, a little bit more chrome going, and that should be cool. Well, I guess you're just gonna be yield and patient, aren't you? All right, so that should be good. Titanium and more chrome going. So while that cooks, do I have enough chrome and titanium for now, hopefully, to make those things? Oh, and what we're also gonna want is those advanced mechanism dudes. So like elite control circuits? And we're gonna want a few more of those. Yeah, give me like 10 of these bad boys, would you? Thanks, bro. Okay, so with that good, uh, can I just compress compactor you into plates? Yeah, I can. And then what we'll do is we'll make 16 of each plate and call it a day. Do you have room for augments? Nah, you're already augmented. It's hoping for it to be a little faster, but not the end of the world. All right. So advanced from reborn storage. So that's advanced machine frame. So you need a highly advanced machine frame. which is made like that. So we're gonna want a couple more of these. Cool. Um, and then you just need more chrome of this. Are you titanium right now? Cause I want you to be chrome again. You are. Cool. So that's four. Now it looks like if we take a look at the multi-block, is that hollow inside? So technically we need, we need 26. So we need a lot more of this. So maybe I'll work on this off camera for a few minutes and we'll be right back. All right, if I'm not mistaken, this is the last set of Chrome plates that we'll need. Chrome was like the big one. Really glad that we found a sky blocky way to make these. So in theory, That's the thing. I did the thing. It's not incomplete because that's correct. Uh, you don't need to be reinforced machine casings, do you? Maybe you were supposed to be reinforced machine casings. They do look pretty similar, to be fair. So maybe I need, and what, steel plates? Do I know how to make steel plates? Uh, I kind of know how to make steel plates. Maybe you were supposed to be the reinforced ones. Well, I suspect that these ones are probably used for like maybe fusion or something. So making those was probably not a huge waste of effort. Uh, but maybe it was a wasteful enough. So you're making a bunch of steel for me, which we can now start compressing into steel plates. Bing. I don't know exactly how many I'm needing. I'm just guessing, but maybe that was not advanced machines. It's very tricky because they look very similar. To be, to, in my defense, they look very similar. My defense. And there's nothing on the in the UI that says these are the blocks you need, from what I could tell. What's this flashy looking thing? And stealing it, huh? Neat. So now these, uh, how many of these steel plates we're gonna need, but we're gonna try six, six on right? I think it's seven sets that we're gonna need, but we'll find out. Um, so casings, if I want reinforced casings, we get four from this. So that should be, that should be quick. Go ahead, buddy. Yeah, we're getting there. We'll do that. 
three, four, five. Six of those is enough. And then that should be enough of these casings. So let's see if that's correct. So maybe it's this casing that we need. In my defense, they look pretty similar, but this actually looks like the, the right one this time. Bing. You happy now? Hey, multi-block hologram. Woot, looks like it worked. Cool. All right, so you need 64 KEU, which I'm suspecting I can just supply courtesy of that. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. That is nice. Uh, I'll take that any day. So if I want you to be overclocked, Mr. Recycler, I'm gonna borrow your overclock steps. Oh yeah, 320k U, nice. So what I might do is make another one of those crystals or even a Lapitron crystal. Does that, is that like possible? That's not impossibly difficult? Yeah, I can totally do that. That feels incredibly cheaty. Love it. Love how cheaty that feels. Yeah, it's draining out of here into there. So that could totally be a thing. I think they'll both charge at the same time. <laughs> cool. That is super cheaty feeling, and I like every bit of it. I like every moment of how cheaty that feels. Uh, so that being done, we have our implosion compressor, and you're happy now? Cool. Which means UU Matter is a step. Matter Fabricator, and then UU Matter. So Matter Fabricator... Needs a lot of things. Okay, Lapatron energy orbs and extractors and all kinds of other stuff. So let's get our two extractors. Okay, what else do we need to get here? Um, Lapatron energy orbs. Wow, that's a lot of Lapatron crystals. Around an iridium alloy plate, which is made with iridium alloy ingots. Technically, I didn't need an implosion compressor to do this but I see what you're going with. But the compactor from Thermal Expansion can do it just as well, which is funny. Um, iridium, advanced alloy plates, and crushed diamond or diamond dust. Okay, or iridium alloy nuggets. So where do we get iridium ingots from? Do we have iridium? That's a really good question. So we have iridium ore, which uh, can apparently be just straight up smelted. Can we crush her that? Can we sag mill that dude? Pulverizer can do it. Uh, sag mill, sag mill, sag mill, sag mill. Totally sag millable. So iridium is already attained thanks to environmental tech. And because I've got dark steel grinding balls in there, this should get me a lot of iridium. I think this is going to be one of those instances. So there's a Lapatron orb pack, a Lapatron energy orb. I think I want you to know how to make this. So to make this, you need to know how to make Lapatron crystals, um, which means you need to know how to make this. Oh, you're killing these balls. Dire, please. Uh, and then you need to know how to make this. Stay away from my thing. Uh, and then you need to know how to make this. So you need to know how to make this dude is um, made in the compactor, right? Do we have the compactor on the line here? Not really, but we could. We could. Do we have the channels for it? All signs point to just one channel remaining. That means we can make it fit, I think. Sleepy time for Direwolf. Right, so then interface. On compactor. And then we're gonna say, hey, you buddy. Look at that, we're getting pulverized platinum too while we're at it. Sweet. Um, so iridium. So what we want is you are made into iridium alloy plates. So yeah, you have you have quite a few steps. Do we have a 
pulverizer? We do. Hopefully pulverizer. Iridium alloy plates are made with advanced alloy plates. So we need advanced alloy nuggets. So I want you to know how to make a few of these things. Because there, there's a lot of crafting steps here, so I should probably um, do this. Right? So you need advanced alloy plates, which needs advanced alloy nuggets, which you learn to, to craft here. So that's cool. Right? Um, and then advanced alloy. So if we said mixed... So can you just make one of those? And we're gonna do this. We're gonna do one of you equals one of you in the smelting operation. There it is. This guy, right? That's the smelter guy. Cool. Uh, and then you can get compacted in the compactor, right? So basically you Compactor are going to be that. In here. Right? Uh, and now that you know how to make that, you just need to know how to make diamond dust, which I'm really going to hope can be made right in here. Cool. So you can be made with one diamond. And the pulverizer. And you are no longer in this mode. Because we've got already a ingots. You should know how to make all the components for that, crafting-wise. Cool. And then you are turned into what? Uh, we need you to be turned into... One of these days, guys, I'll remember. Uh, iridium alloy plate, so that's a compactor recipe. So we want an iridium... So you guys should be cooked. Sweet. Um, you're going to be a pattern recipe. One of those yields compactor. Iridium plate. Cool. So then, what I should be able to do is if I want those Lapotron dudes, we can come up here and say one of these. And we need five of these, which is why I'm auto-crafting this, right? Lapotronic energy orbs, by the way, hold 100 million EU. So that's a thing. So that's a bit of auto-crafting happening, right, to make all that occur. But see why setting up the auto-crafting for that was way easier than making that all by hand, right? Um, and then you guys are going to be made into a UU matter. Right? So then the only other thing for the matter fabricator is highly advanced machines, right? So matter fabricator, did I have extractors? I think I did. Now we're cooking. Nice. So I just need those five things, um, which are almost done being made, coincidentally. Uh, and we should be cool. They're just making uh, all the redstone for the energy crystals. It's taking a minute, um, but everything else is scheduled, so that's coming down to it. Nice. You're making Lapatron crystals. That is cool. Nice. Lapatron energy orbs, which hold 100 million EU, which, by the way, I kind of want another one of those just for myself. So I wonder if I can throw that in a machine. <laughs> I did not giggle. Lapatron energy orb. Do the thing. What? Wait, what? Oh, energy flow circuit. Ah, that's a different thing, isn't it? Well, why do they look so similar? They look so similar. To be fair, one has a little thingy and one doesn't. But 
Um, to get four of these, we just need two Lavatron Crystals and an Iridium Alloy Plate. So one Iridium Alloy Plate and two Lapatron Crystals. And that gets four of these at least, so that's nice. What's up, Matter Fabricator? So can I take my Lapatronic Energy Orb and let it fill up in my inventory? Booyah! Quest updated, Matter Fabricator. Wow, look at, uh... What is going on in the top left of my screen? Oh, it's just telling me the, the fullness of this. Cool, 16 million. Man, we are, we are crushing our flux capacitor at this point. But, um, can you just, like, chill over here? Sweet. Can, can you go in there? Yeah, you can. You have an internal capacitor of 100 million EU. Just putting that out there that that's a thing. Which is exactly how much this stores. But you're a matter fabricator. Look at you go. Cool. All right, I have no idea how this machine works. Uh, tier insane. Cool. We are totally going to have to fill this thing up, by the way. We are having a comically large amount of power transfer, but let's just throw this dude in here. Are you using power, by the way? You're not. So do you need, like, do you need scrap? That's a thing I don't fully know. Um, let's get some, like, something that we have a lot of. Do, 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 do. Scrap, 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 scrap. Not sure if needing scrap. Oh, hello. Yeah, okay, look at that. Cool. 1% charged. Right, so that's... um. Let's put you in there. So I don't know exactly how this matter fabricator works. Clearly it's doing... S oh, hey, look, UU matter. Sweet! We got our first UU matter. Woohoo! Look, we did the thing. All right, so let's maybe set up a cobblestone generator, like like the like the like the cool ones. What do I have over here for a cobblestone generator? I had one. Oh, that's right. I, I turned into a material material stonework factory. Um, you're pretty good. Isn't there like the cobblestone generator thingy? All right, guys, messing around with some augments on this dude. So that, hopefully, he may or may not retain his uh, setup, but can I just put you there? And you output to that, and you do that, and then he doesn't retain his liquid when picked up. But that's not the end of the world. So in cobblestone mode, Does that work? Now do you, how do I get you to like accept from the side there? I'm pretty sure you're pushing. How do you accept? Because the other thing I could do is mechanism advanced logistical transporters. There you are. Oh, well isn't that special? Come on. Killing me, recycler. How do I auto input to you? Uh. Transformer upgrade, energy storage upgrade, range upgrade. How do I pipe items into you, recycler? Uh. Item duct? Oh, hello, you work. Or you don't. Recycler, please. Please work, Recycler. Uh, maybe mechanism was not wrong. 
How do I pipe items into this dude? If not into the top or any of the sides. Like, no way you get piped into the bottom, right? Please don't tell me you get piped into the bottom. I'll be super annoyed if you can pipe into the bottom. You can't pipe into the bottom either. Well, now I'm super annoyed that I can't pipe into any. Uh, wait, what's this configure slots thing? Ah, that could be it. That could be it. Uh, the back? Okay, that might be cooler. Hold on. Nobody panic, that might be better. So you go to cobblestone mode. Let's get our buckets back. Nobody panic. This might be an automation opportunity for us. Yay! So your power is draining pretty quickly, but outside of that, you're good, right? So if I took one of you out, would you be okay? Nope. You're good though, right, MFE? Yeah, you're cool. You just can't take in the power that well. But I mean, if I was a little bit more passive about you. Now, if we configured, oh wow, you still can't do it? Come on, you're killing me, dude, why? Oh, maybe that's why. <laughs> Cause I uh, accidentally broke the cable. I was like, wait, what? So if I put these guys in there, you should be fine. Yeah, you're not flickering no more. Sweet. So you're making scrap pretty quickly. I like that. Uh, and then can I put a drawer on top of you? And configure you for this side to be that? Output, auto output? Hey, look at that. Nice, all right, not bad, Reborn Tech. You had me nervous there for a second. You had me nervous there for a second. But we got it going. Cool, so uh, that's a thing, right? Uh, so I like that. All right, so that's gonna have to be wrapping up point, but like, wow, that's a lot of scrap, right? And that should hopefully get me lots of UU matter. Sweet, 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 sweet UU matter. And you're gonna charge up super quick because you have this thing here charging me up. Nice. All right, so I'll take that. That seems pretty cool to me. So here's what we're going to do. We're wrapping up the episode. We'll come back next time. We will look into what's involved in finishing this line, which doesn't seem too bad. It's fusion. So we'll check out fusion next episode. Then we'll circle back to chickens, knock out the chickens quests, and then we should be in a really good place, right? Because we'll have completed two more chapters, which will mean even closer to where we want to go. For now, Dollar 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I truly do. And we'll be back next time for more shenanigans. All right, guys, take it easy.